What? What do you mean this one didn't turn out the right way? Yeah, twists and turns, bloopers, is that what you said? What are we gonna do? Keep watching and find out. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. Today I am heading down to my basement for my 10 Minutes Better. 10 Minutes Better is an open collab and so there are other ladies who are doing this with me. I give them a theme every month, the first Friday of the month. This time landed on May the 5th. Well, how could we not have the theme be Cinco de Mayo? And I spelled it with an S, S-I-N-K-O uh, for Cinco de Mayo, but really any spelling, anything at all that, that goes along with the word stink. It's fair game. So uh, they might maybe do something like clean a pool or whatever you do with a pool. I don't have one because sink or swim. Or maybe they'll do something with sports equipment because sink a basket. So anything at all that goes along with the word sink, any spelling is fair. That's what we're going to be doing this month. Now, I'm just going to be cleaning a sink. That wasn't what I planned to do. I was actually going to replace the contact paper in the bottom in the cabinet under the sink in my bathroom but i went down to throw a load of laundry in and i looked over at the utility sink in my basement where my washer is and i thought you know that has looked so horrible for so long and it's just never been a priority i want it to be cleaned up but i have not made it a priority this time i thought you know what i'm gonna spend 10 minutes on that and i'm gonna make it be a priority and I'm glad I did. Now, I started on this yesterday, but it got wet because I was cleaning some stuff up, and so I needed to wait for it to dry. So I'm actually making my 10 minutes kind of spread out. But that's okay. You don't have to spend all your 10 minutes all in one little batch, right? So I spent, you know, a couple minutes on it yesterday, and I'm going to spend a few minutes on it today, and we're going to see if it looks better when I'm done. And I was realizing I'm kind of excited about this. I was not excited about this. But I'm excited about it now that I kind of got started. And that's the beauty of just getting started sometimes. You know, even if we only do the 10 minutes, sometimes it's just enough to motivate us to want to do a little bit more. Even if we can't do it right then, we're motivated. And we'll come back to it a little bit later and do some more and make it look even better. And that's what I'm going to be doing with my sink. So if you've got anything around your house that you want to clean, tidy, organize, decorate, whatever, grab your stuff and come on and let's do this together. Might even do some decluttering. Hey, 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 it is Cinco de Mayo. I got some uh, towels in the washer and I was going to go upstairs and work on the cabinet underneath the sink in the bathroom. But I've changed my mind. I am going to take care of this ugly mess. I'm only going to spend maybe 10 minutes on it. So it may not be beautified by the time I'm done. But hopefully it'll be a little bit better. Because every time I come down here and throw something in this washer, I see this ugly sink. <laughs> uh, I have to be a little careful though because this side over here has a crack in it. That's why there's a tub there so that we don't accidentally run water in it uh, and I'm not sure about this side. This is where the water from the washer runs into and we don't really do a lot with it so it just kind of gets neglected and forgotten. But look, it definitely needs some cleaning up. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do just a little bit, not a lot. I'm, I don't care if I get it all done. I'm just gonna do like 10 minutes. Before I get started on this though, I wanna make sure I know which products are best for this sink and also more importantly which ones I should not use on this sink because I don't want to make it worse right and also this washer is kind of loud right now and I'm hungry so I'm gonna get something to eat and do a little research I got the towels in the dryer did a little bit of research and so now I have some things assembled here uh, to help me with this job First thing I'm going to do is take this stuff away, get everything off of the sink, but I'm also going to use this little broom and dustpan thing to get some of this dirt and whatever that is out of here. And then I also have an old toothbrush and this I think, well, it went somewhere, but anyway, it was one of those things that was come came with uh, 
fruit or something in it and I just scrunched it up to use it as a little scrubby. I just have never used it. And then I also have this one that's soft on one side and got a little bit of scrubby on the other. Um, the information that I found said don't think, use anything too abrasive on it. So you don't want anything that's that'll scratch the interior of it. It's, it's cement, but that is apparently a soft, porous type material. So you, you want to be careful with that. And it also said that you can use laundry detergent. Um, there were other methods that you can use, but I thought I would start with the simplest thing and just go from there and see what I could get off of there. And I'm just looking through my camera here, because when I'm filming, a lot of times I'm looking through the camera. That just reminds me of uh, cave wall art. That looks like a bird. <laughs> In case you're not aware, this is one of those old sinks. It is cement, and then I have these things here, apparently, from what I've found, they, those are uh, made out of zinc. And um, one thing that I, uh, a video I watched, it said that a long time ago, they used to paint the front of them black. Isn't that interesting? So uh, I'm not going to be doing anything that, you know, uh, much today. I'm just going to try to get it kind of clean. And if this doesn't work, then I can always try something else later. This thing's been here for, I don't know, a couple years. Looks like we got some dead flies down in there. At least they're not flying around, but yuck. <laughs> I gave that bin a quick little rinse, the lid as well. And I'm going to try to find a way to hang the mop up so that it's not laying over here on the sink. So that way all of this will be cleared off. Um, and as you can see, it's damp in here because I was doing that. So, and I haven't uh, gotten all those little things off back there. But underneath of that bin, it was wet. And um, so what I'm going to do is, um, my, my dryer finished. I'm going to take those the towels upstairs and uh, fold them and put them away and give this a chance to dry. Because I think that'll be better to kind of... Uh, clean up the little residue things in there. Uh, it's easier to do if it's dry. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so it's probably going to take me longer than 10 minutes just because of that, but I'm not going to be spending that long actually working on the project. So I think it's okay. It's just like kind of spreading it out little bitty tiny, tiny bits here and there as I go. But you know, it is what it is. It's been a couple of hours, but as you can see, it's still damp over here. And this side is even more wet still. So I'm going to put the rest of this little project off until tomorrow, get this time to get really good and dry. And that is perfectly fine uh, with me to do that. I have some other things that I need to uh, go ahead and just continue doing. And I would rather wait and let this get dry than to start knocking more stuff down in here in this damp area. I think that would make it harder to get all of this little stuff out of there. I think if I let it dry, I can probably just sweep most of it up. Well, I'm back down here in the basement. I've got a load of laundry in because it just happened to be clothes washing day today. Yesterday just happened to be towel washing day. I don't really have like a, a, one, a one load a day thing or anything like that with laundry. I just do it as needed and just happened to fall on these days. So that's why the washer is going. Hopefully it's not too loud, um, but my tub, my little bin that was in the sink is dried out. So now I need to decide if I'm going to keep that and use it for something, put it back in the sink, or just declutter it. If I have something, if I have some things that are in a cardboard box that can be transferred to a bin, I may go ahead and, and use that for that purpose. I'm going to check out my garage. I may, ha may have a use for it. And then I moved this stuff out of the way because it was sitting here in front of the sink. The reason I have the broom is because yesterday I looked up and happened to notice all that. <laughs> That's kind of gross. <clears throat> and it's over top of the sink. <clears throat> it's going to have to get um, cleaned down at some point. So I decided rather than doing all this cleaning up in here and then cleaning that, it made a lot more sense just to go ahead and kind of give it a little dusting off. So. I'm gonna use the broom for that. I'm not gonna do a deep clean. I just wanna get the major part off because I'll be cleaning the sink again at some point, right? Um, and then all of this stuff too. I'm just gonna kind of sweep it off a little bit and get some of the dirt stuff down. And then I'll, um, I'll use uh, 
this thing to dust off the rest of this and also down here in the sink you can see it is dried out and so I'll be able to just kind of sweep this stuff over and get it out fairly easily um, and remember my little bird I don't know if it looks more like hay bark or like uh, hieroglyphics either way I got a picture that'll last longer because hopefully that's going to be gone pretty soon. Now, um, the thing that I found that told me what to do, it said to put the laundry detergent on the spots and then let it sit for five minutes. So I'm going to do that. And then while that's sitting, I'm going to clean the outside of this a little bit just so I can keep it kind of moving along. And I do have gloves on. So um, that way I'm going to be protecting my hands a little bit. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started now. First things first, grab this broom and get started on this stuff that's overhead. Okay, so, so I threw the laundry in and then I set up everything. I explained everything on the video and then I was making sure that I, you know, I was playing it back, making sure I had it and you know all that good stuff and then i walked over to the sink and this is what i saw <laughs> i can't believe i did that i like totally did not think it through i mean really <laughs> you probably saw that coming didn't you <laughs> you're probably sitting there watching the video going I want you to get it all out of your system and then I want you to comment down below something silly that you have done because you know we all do this we get so excited about something we start multitasking we don't think it through and then we end up making things harder for ourselves but it's okay we can get through anything right we just have to have a little patience and give ourselves a little grace laugh about it and then move on because you know what this is still gonna happen <laughs> it's gotten delayed now it's delayed again but i'm gonna get this done i'm not giving up <laughs> yeah we're gonna get it done three times a charm right we can do this let's get back let's get back to work <laughs> now i'm gonna have to wait till it dries again okay whatever <laughs> duh <laughs> can't believe I did that anyway wasn't thinking um, anyway uh, I did I, this is filled up over here not going down quickly and this over here is getting wet on this side so I can see now we have a crack coming from here or, you know where it's coming in from here because I knew this was here but I didn't hadn't noticed that one which that explains why this was wet underneath of the tub Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't even think of that. I'm like, seriously, girl. <laughs> oh well, whatever. I just I'll just let my washer finish and then I'll wait till it dries again. Yeah, because I don't want to dump all of that down into the wet sink either. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well now isn't this lovely? <laughs> glad I made my little boo-boo because if I had not cleaned this before I might have thought I did that but obviously something is clogging that up <laughs> so I don't know maybe the 10 minutes better may not be cleaning the sink maybe it'll just be unclogging the sink oh well <laughs> now I gotta scratch my head and figure out how I want to fix this it is going down a little bit. I can hear it. Can you hear the trickle? Yeah, I thought that sounded unusual earlier that it was going a little slower than normal and it doesn't usually fill up like this. But that's kind of what it did when I had put that little drain thing in there a while back. But there's no drain thing in there. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? The good news is Randy will be home in a little bit. He'll know what to do. I could go upstairs and Google this. I could, you know, text him and say, hey, 
what should I do? Do we want to poke a thing down through it? Or do we want to put some, you know, chemicals in it? I could do all that and try to figure it out. But I don't want to. <laughs> so, I mean, this is, you know, I'd just rather let him do it. Yeah, I'm just going to let him do it because he already knows what to do. Maybe I'll get him to show me how he would fix this. And then next time, if it ever happens again, I'll know. And I won't make a mistake. I don't really want to make a mistake with this. Like, I don't want to put stuff in there if you're not supposed to. And if we have a, like, pole thingy or something to stick down in through there, maybe he already has something like that. And I wouldn't have to spend an hour trying to figure out how. <laughs> I mean, it ain't going anywhere, right? Well, it is, but not quickly. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Why won't it go down yet? Because it's too full. Oh, you mean that over there? Why is it not going down? We gotta get some water out. Why is that not going down? I don't know if this one's not going down or not. But I know it'll go down if I pour it here. So it's easier to do that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it was easier for me to let you do it. <laughs> oh. Is there something in there? Yeah. Well, like a ray. Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> I did do That's it. That's why I couldn't grab it. Just <laughs> grab it out of there. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, well. <laughs> I was cleaning with that yesterday and I laid it up there to dry and then I accidentally knocked it in and totally forgot about it. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> well, now we know why it wouldn't go down. <laughs> That's hilarious. If I got that, you can get the letter. No. Yep. <laughs> Oops. Okay, go ahead and tell me if you saw that coming too, because I totally forgot about that. Randy to the rescue. <laughs> now I just gotta wait for this to dry so I can actually clean the sink. It's after four. It was before two o'clock when I went downstairs to spend 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I did that to myself. Okay, y'all, it's day three, and I am not giving up. I'm not letting it win. First thing I'm going to do is throw this little thing over here into the trash. <laughs> so that's not going to happen again. And that also counts as decluttering. And so, do this stuff. This is also decluttering, and I have decided to go ahead and toss this as well. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. We're just going to go ahead and do the decluttering part. I'm going to grab the broom, sweep that stuff down, sweep this stuff down, get that other little thing, and sweep all this up, get all the little stuff out of the sink. That way I'm not putting things down in that drain, because we don't want to clog the drain up with stuff, right? Uh, yeah, and we're not talking about a paper towel. <laughs> I just don't want to get a lot of grit and dirt and things down there that don't belong. It's not perfect, but I got a lot of the stuff down from that area up there, and I swept this a little bit here as well. Like I said, I'm not doing a deep clean. I just want to get the uh, main dirt off, and I used the broom to get a little of this off, but I need to stop for a few minutes because it's starting to bother my neck, so I'm just going to give my neck just a little bit of a rest so that I can continue on, um, but before I started sweeping things down, I decided to put some paper towels down here in the sink and that way it would catch a lot of the stuff that was going to fall down into the sink. Less stuff for me to try to sweep out of there. Okay, let's get back at it. Gave my neck a little rest and now it is time to sweep out some more of this stuff here. 
so I won't put you through watching all of this. I don't want to make this any longer than I need to, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what I am going to be doing. I'm glad I thought to put these paper towels in because you can see how much stuff they have gathered. So it's going to be really easy to get all of this part out of here. And then I can just sweep the rest of that up. I got all of the loose dirt up out of both sides here. As you can see, it's all in this little dustpan. But there's a few things down here that are just kind of stuck. I'm going to see if I can find something to loosen that up a little bit, bit with before I continue on. Um, but I did want to say, um, I had originally planned to go ahead and try to clean this faucet as well. But I think I'm just going to do this part down here, considering you know I've already spent quite a bit of time on it. And I don't have to have it all done at the same time. I think this part's going to take me probably my 10 minutes. I got both sides swept out pretty well. Um, there's water here, but that's because I want to wash the, some of this stuff off my hands. I have just a little bit of dishwashing liquid in this little cap here. So now what I'm going to try to do, I don't think it's going to take a whole lot, but I'm going to try to just rub it on these parts up here on the wall and see if it will do what it's supposed to do. And then over here, all along down in here, these kind of spot-looking places. And I'm not really worried about, you know, if I get it perfect the first time, you know, I can always come back and do some more later. Okay, and then over on this side, now I'm going to have to get something, probably not today, but I'm going to have to get something and clean that out in there really good. This side doesn't really have rust spots like that, so I think I'm just going to leave that for now. Okay, um, so I'm going to let this stuff set for a few minutes while I go ahead and clean this front part. I didn't want to get a lot of water in the sink here, so I just used this little uh, tub, this little uh, dish tub that was sitting down here uh, to put water in, and this, the dishwashing liquid that was on my gloves already, that's what's in there. Probably a little more than I needed in there, but that's okay. But I wanted to show you, this is the sponge. That was after wiping off this whole front part. I'm really surprised. I would have thought that that would have been really dirty because I don't think I've ever cleaned this, ever. So that was, in, that was interesting. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to see if I can't wipe down a little bit on the sides and um, maybe do the legs too. I don't know. I think I'm, maybe, I may just do this, this top part here for this, for this time. That end of the sink was really dirty on the outside. So I went ahead and dumped the water over in this side. Um, because I didn't want to disturb the, lot, the uh, detergent over here. But I went ahead and dumped that so that I would have fresh water for washing the rest of this. Um, but I wanted to show you, I started just kind of doing, you know, with this part of the thing, but over here where there were some little spots, I used the back of this. So let's see if it will work on the burn. Look, it's taking it right off. I'm not even like really using any um, elbow crease or anything. So now I'm going to do the rest of this off camera because I don't want to drop my camera <laughs> accidentally drop my phone into the water or onto the cement and break it. So, but I did want to show you kind of what I am doing and I'm, I'm going to use this side where I can, but I think I'll do a, an all over with this side and, and get extra residue off, but it is working. Okay. Let's see how it turned out. Uh, it's still damp, it's still wet, but I think you can tell I got some of the stuff off of there. Um, it looks a lot better. I won't be able to really tell until the sink gets dry though. And over here you can see it is still damp as well, but looks a lot better than it did before. I went ahead and rinsed off that um, dustpan and the brush, and I rinsed off the soap dispenser. You can see the little spongy thing. It kind of wore out the back side of that sponge. Um, I'm not going to toss it yet because once this dries, I'll be able to tell if there's any little places 
that I want to, you know, do a little extra on. Um, but then I'm going to toss it after that. I'm not going to hang on to that one. I've got plenty. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and let that one go once I know I'm not going to use it again for this particular session. But um, if that gets dry quickly enough, I'll get a picture of it dry and add it in this um, video. But if it doesn't, eh, that's okay. Um, I went ahead and moved this back over. And I'm going to take this up and put it in the garage because I have a use for it out there. And I also got the trash uh, dumped into this bag. I'm going to take that out and throw it into the trash can outside. But I think, I think it turned out better. I mean, honestly, I think it probably took me more like 20, 25 minutes to do it. But it's hard to tell because it took me three days <laughs> and I had to take breaks. And so I don't know, but that's the whole point of a 10 minutes better. You don't have to do it all at once. And each little bit that you do adds up and makes it better and better and better. So, you know, I kind of did like two or three <laughs> all for one video, but that's okay. Now that the sink is dry, I can tell that I need to work on this little area right here a little bit more, but I think it turned out pretty good. And um, I moved the laundry detergent and bleach and actually the dryer balls, all of that, they're in a dish pan and put them in this side of the uh, sink because we don't use that side anyway for anything. And that way they're not sitting here in front of the sink in the floor taking up space. But now you can see this is what it will look like when I come down here to throw stuff in my washer. It's not perfect. It's not beautiful. Um, it's a work in progress, but it's a lot better than it was. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I don't care how many minutes it took. Let me know down in the comments if you did a 10 minutes better along with me. And don't forget to check out the playlist. I'll have a link for that down in the description box below. And, to, and until next time, happy decluttering. Bye. You gonna help me with the poem? Huh? You gonna help? Yeah? You got your little tail flip in there, make a noise. Hmm? What do you do when it all goes wrong? When your short little project becomes extra long? Get angry? Give up? Let frustration set in? Or laugh it all off and try it again? When setbacks arise and block out the fun, nothing gets better and little gets done. Unless we rise higher, reset the mood, shift our perspective, and check the attitude. You got attitude, Bubby? Huh? You got some attitude going on? <gasps> There's my Bubby. Did you get your tiny tidy done? Hmm? Did you get your tiny tidy done today? Say bye. Bye. Oh, you giving hugs again. You're such a sweet baby. You are such a sweet baby.